Hello, good morning, Satnam, Namaste. Um, I wanted to take you through about six exercises to start your day. They are uh, more Kundalini Yoga based, so it's going to get the blood flowing very quick. And um, it's a good way to boost your immune system, digestive system, uh, help um, the lungs kind of. Uh, with their capacity. So there's a lot going on with just a few simple exercises. All right, so just imagine you're waking up in the morning and you're in your bed. <laughs> so you're laying down. And this would be accurate. My cats would be right near me, so this is pretty good. <laughs> okay. So first exercise we're going to start with is stretch pose. And this is stimulating your abdominal muscles as well as cleansing your blood and your lungs. So what you want to do is breath of fire, and that's a pumping movement. So it's inhale, belly out, exhale, pump it in. All right, so. And if you forget, stick your tongue out. And that usually helps you get the rhythm and the breath, and then you can close your mouth. You're going to do this while you hold this pose. So on your back, you're going to lay down and have your legs stretched out. So if you're already laying down in bed, this is perfect. Your arms are over your thighs and your toes are pointing six inches off the ground. Your head is six inches off, off the ground. Now, if you are um, unable to do that, you can, and it hurts your back, you can place your hands under your lower back and do it this way. Otherwise, I would suggest try to keep up. If you need to, just lower one leg, but keep going, okay? We'll do this for about a minute with breath of fire. All right, so you can begin, lift, and begin. Keep your lower back pressed into the, to the ground or to the bed. works your thyroid and your throat so you'll start to feel it in your throat too 30 seconds your knees in you can rock side to side and do a little twist so this is just before we move on to the next one so you can let your knees fall to one side look to the opposite direction back to center and switch back to center. All right, so you're going to probably feel already that burn. So next thing I want to do, um, I think this could work on the bed, but I find it's nice on a more solid surface because you want to get that nice massage in your spine. So very simple. We're going to rock back and forth. Um, so you're going to hold, if you hold your shins, it places more emphasis in your core. If you hold your thighs, then you can use your legs for momentum. So it's a bit easier. Okay. So we're going to inhale and rock back, exhale, rock forward. You're going to massage your whole spine and that's it. So we'll do that for about a minute. Nice back and forth movement. Inhale, exhale, try it both ways. Try to keep your shins tucked in and see how that changes the exercise. Try to rock all the way back on your shoulders. This feels really good. It wakes up your whole spine.
on your last exhale, come seated, if you can get all the way up. Awesome. Notice how you feel just after those two. It's great. Already wide awake. <laughs> okay. So we'll go into a few spinal movements and then we will um, finish with some standing ones. All right. So let's, let's do our spinal twist. <clears throat> so your hands come on the shoulders, thumbs behind, fingers in front. Your upper arms are parallel to the ground. Pull the elbows back. So a very nice tall spine. And you want your head to be in line with the twist, okay? So the movement is inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Always inhale left, exhale right. You can begin. You can have your eyes closed, internally focused between your eyebrows. This will stimulate your third eye, your intuition. And you can also focus on the mantra Sat Nam. Inhale Sat, exhale Nam in your mind. If you can't go as fast as me, that's okay. This can also cause a little lightheadedness because some people aren't used to the amount of oxygen they're getting. So we're working on digestion, we're working on the lungs, we're working on the heart. Nice, powerful breathing. Inhale, center, suspend the breath in, exhale, just release your hands down, you can roll out your shoulders a little bit here, and maybe just side to side with your neck. So we're going to move on to number four. So we've done one, two, three, and four. It's the fourth one. Okay. <clears throat> so spinal flex. Hands on the knees will target more your lower back. Hands on the shins will target more the upper mid back. So you could switch it up, see how it feels as you move. The inhale, you're pulling your heart forward. The exhale, pulling the heart back. Your shoulders do not um, your shoulders stay over the hips. You're not really um, moving them uh, from that line. And your head doesn't, your chin stays level too. So I'll come sideways so you can see. So it looks more like this. So my chin doesn't do this, okay? And you're kind of rocking on the tailbone. So... That's it. So you just do your best. It's an isolated movement. Not everyone gets it right away if you haven't done it before. Okay, so we'll start now. Inhaling, heart forward, exhale, pull the spine and the navel back. Inhale, exhale. It helps to keep your, your arms and elbows straight so you can bring more of that movement in the spine. If your elbows are bent and kind of it's going to uh, take away from the spinal movement. So keep those arms steady. So the movement is really just from your spine. And once you got the rhythm, you can close your eyes and inhale, set, exhale, numb. If 
you're advanced, you might go a little faster with a powerful breath. This one's also really good for calming the mind, especially if you do it for a couple minutes, three minutes. We'll, we'll go into two, we'll go to two minutes, see how that feels. spine. Hold the breath in. Allow that energy to just settle and move if it needs to move. Just notice what happens. Exhale. Good. All right. Two more left. So I'm going to have you stand, okay, so shake out your legs a bit, all right, frogs, not everyone likes them, we're going to do them, okay, you just do your best, <laughs> every time I throw out frogs, it's a love and hate relationship with my students, okay, so not everyone can go this far down into a squat, but you just go halfway if you need to, you can also uh, place your hands on a block, so you have something to hold as you do this exercise. So you want your feet at 45 degrees, your knees go in the direction of the toes, and your heels stay off the ground for the entire exercise. Fingertips stay down, and as you inhale, you're straightening the legs, holding. Heels are still off the ground. Exhale back to your squat, okay? So I'm gonna encourage everyone to aim for 30. If you need to, you break it up into 10, 10, and 10, like you take a pause because it can start to burn. Or you could do 15, pause for five to 10 seconds, and then do another 15, all right? I'm gonna power right through, so just do what you need to do. Okay, ready? And begin, inhale, straighten, exhale, squat. This gets a lot of blood flow. Straightens your legs. Whenever you're done, you're 30, just come hanging forward. I'm going to give everyone a little more time to finish. Not everyone went as fast as they did. <laughs> it's okay. And whenever you're ready, you're going to come standing slowly. Okay. Just have you catch your breath. And um, just from experience, I know sometimes it takes a bit longer <laughs> to finish 30. If you've never done them before, it's pretty challenging. So just massage out your legs, pat them down. If you're feeling jello-y, that's good. You'll think of me tomorrow when your abs hurt and your legs hurt. <laughs> okay. Last exercise, just to, it's like a nice loosening of the upper body and a bit in the lower body too, and your back. <clears throat> and it works on digestion and releases toxins in your liver. So feet are wide, hands on the hips. So feet can be 
wider than your hips, okay? Big circles, we'll start in one direction and I'll let you know when to switch, okay? All right, so you're gonna roll back as you inhale, exhale forward, inhale back, and try to go in all directions, even sideways, exhale forward. Make sure you get the side bending. Inhale, exhale. Nice, powerful movement. If you feel lightheaded or dizzy, that could be a sign of toxins releasing from your digestive system. So you could slow it down or make the circle smaller. Still going in the same direction. And now switch. Going the other way. Try to open the heart on the way back. For the last 30 seconds, really open up. Looking up to the ceiling if you can. And inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, let's bring your feet together. Bring your hands to your heart and just bow down to yourself to thank yourself for taking this short time just to blast your whole system with beautiful energy and creating good blood flow in your system. Tox, toxin release, it's all good. So you did, you did something good for yourself. <laughs> Love, light and health to all of you. And we'll finish with a long sat and a short nam. So sat nam is like namaste. And it's like true name and true identity. We're identifying with truth when we chant. So from the heart. <clears throat> Let's all inhale to begin. So